Hey guys, today we're exploring Brevo and email automation platform. Uh, today we're going to be implementing that platform directly into uh, so with maybe with some AI, but definitely within a website that's getting a lot of traffic and has, we need to follow up and nurture these leads repeatedly. So we're going to build a high converting email funnel and then we're going to use Brevo and integrate it using their API and their automations. We may even integrate AI completely, but even if we don't, uh, you'll be able to see how you can do it. So it's a pretty interesting video. Um, in short, what we're going to be doing is taking, you know, the Brevo platform, connecting it to a WordPress site, um, and then also even connecting in some of the tracking. So for anybody who's doing some advanced or high level tracking, that's going to be very helpful. For anybody who doesn't know me, my name is Chad Agarwal. I'm the owner of Perfect Clicks LLC. We're a digital marketing agency based in Parsippany, New Jersey. If you guys do need any help, you can reach out to us at 844 clicks What we're going to walk through today takes a little bit of nuance and skill because every single plat website is different. Uh, you know, whether it's B2B sales or e-commerce or affiliate sales, whatever kind of leads that you're trying to drive, you know, you have a different specific goal and objective, right? Is it clicks? Is it signups? Uh, you know, what do you want them to do? Is it purchases? Is it inquiries? So every email funnel should be built with one purpose in mind. And if you do that well, then it simplifies all the junk because there's so many platforms out there and we've worked with them all, right? We've worked with MailChimp. We're actually a MailChimp premium partner, so still love them. But I would say the Brevo is going to be very interesting. Uh, you know, we've worked with Instantly AI. We've worked with Constant Contact, Aweber, the original, the OG back in the day, uh, you know, and, and pretty much all of almost a SendGrid, almost every platform you can imagine, we've worked with them. And what we're really looking for is a unique solution for this client. So by dialing in on what you need and the way you need to interact with your customers, that's going to help you. And it's also then as a secondary going to be able to automate. A lot of people make the mistake of trying to automate first, automate everything. Don't do that. Get the funnel to work, get it to convert, and then automate after that. Because otherwise, by the time you have something automated, you realize it's going to need to change. So, so that's the overview of the video. Let's jump into it and we'll see how it works. All right, so we're getting started with Brevo here. Uh, you can see this is their main landing page. I will leave a link uh, down below. So if, you, if this video helps you, please like and subscribe, but also use that link down below. Um, so we have that and I'll leave a few others as well. And so the first thing we're gonna need is to connect Brevo to our website or to the automation platform. So let's go into what is it that the website needs first. So as you can see here, the client is using uh, Elementor theme, which is one of the best, fastest WordPress themes. I, I would watch a couple videos. We've done some videos on that. But what's happening here is on, the, on this WordPress theme, they're filling out a form and the form has to do a number of actions, right? First, they're collecting submissions and then it's sending one email to the customer. Then it's sending another email to the admin or to the team. And then it's sending a redirect and then a webhook. And so what happens is when the user hits, clicks on access or submit or whatever the button is, it takes time for the system to collect that submission, to send out email one, to send out email two, and then redirect to a thank you page, and then send out a webhook for the tracking. So there's a lot of things that have to happen. To streamline speed, increase conversions, and increase your tracking, you definitely have to collect, you just wanna collect the data and just send it out or send the visitor on their way as fast as possible. So what we're going to be doing is completely eliminating uh, the need to collect the submission data or the email one or email two. And we're just gonna quickly redirect the visitor out to, a, to, to the landing page or to the thank you page. And then once that redirect is done, uh, it's gonna quickly send the data via a webhook. Now a webhook is really useful because all that data is getting sent out that's to a third-party tracking software. I will link them below, like one of the best third-party tracking third-party tracking softwares out there, especially if you're doing SEO, running Google ads, meta ads, or even any campaigns in general. So I know webhooks sound a little scary, but they're not. It's just sending the data from the website or from the submission to another place where you can automate it or track it. So in this case, 
it's going directly to a tracking system because that tracking system is most important, right? You, you wanna make sure that you're capturing all the data, especially if there's conversions and money on the line and, and profits on the line for when people take these actions, which in this case, it's very much the case. So let's see what that looks like. Before we remove this, we wanna make sure that the redirect works and that the webhook is collecting the data. And so that webhook is going to be feeding into this tracking system called AnyTrack. Now, AnyTrack allows us to track leads, completed registrations, outbound clicks, purchases, all different kinds of event conversion types. So here, we're going to have that data feeding into AnyTrack, so that confirms which visitors from what campaigns are actually taking action on your site and converting. So this is like really important when you're building your funnel because you don't just want to build a funnel. Uh, you want to know where is the sources of traffic that's that's really converting. And then you also want to track that data all the way through your funnel. So that way, as you're following up, you know where was the initial point of source where they came in from and then what campaign eventually got them to convert. It's also really, really powerful if you're going to be tracking and remarketing and retargeting your customers. There's a whole wealth of data and that's where we've really been focused on speed, performance, and data because that's unlocking growth for a lot of our clients at the moment. So once you have that data coming from the website into any track or any third-party tracking software, uh, if you're not using tracking, you could even have it go directly into a automation platform like make.com, which I'll show you right now. But in our case, we have it coming into any track. And then within any track, we've set up an outbound webhook, which is going to trigger to make.com. So here you're going to see you just, all you have to do is enter your webhook URL that's generated in make, and it'll send that data out. So here I'm inside of make.com. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a scenario where the webhooks are, it's going to pick up this webhook. So we created an outbound webhook that will trigger to make.com, right? So now make.com is going to get a trigger received here. That's the, we created that webhook and it's basically pinging to that URL and it's gonna pick up all of that data. Next, we're gonna connect this webhook to Revo and create a contact for them. So now we're gonna take our webhook and connect that to Brevo, right? And see, as you can see here, Brevo has a number of operations that you can do and automate directly into the platform. One of the reasons I really like working with software that really has open APIs. So here, what we're going to do is use this webhook and actually connect it to create a contact. And so to do that, we're gonna to have to create a connection into Brevo. So to create that connection to Brevo, you're going to need an API key, which you can find in your account. Your API information is found under the profile information and then SMTP and API page. Next, click on API keys, click on generate a new API key, and we're going to name this. And once you've named the API, I recommend naming it based on the platform you're using. And in, in this case, because we're connecting between Brevo and Make, I'm just making it the Brevo Make connection. And then it'll give you your API key, which is very secure hash. So then just copy that and we're gonna paste that back into Make. Perfect. As you can see here, the Brevo connection has been made. And so now you can populate that information from your webhook into the Brevo contact. So we're gonna choose some of the attributes here like email. So that's gonna populate with email. Okay, so you'll see here we added an email, last name, first name, phone number, and a click ID. There's probably some other attributes and things that we may want to add in there to add some tags and things like that. Uh, definitely we'll, we'll mess around with that at some point. And there we go. We've connected our webhook to Brevo. We can go ahead and test it out. But that's the main connection. It's pretty simple. You have your forms going from your form, webhooking out into a tracking software. Tracking software will then webhook right into Brevo, and you can take somebody who submitted the form and then feed them right into Brevo automatically. Now, what kind of emails do we want to send? What kind of automations do we want to build out upon sending that information over to Brevo? Well, that's going to be pretty interesting. And how can we tie that into maybe some sort of automation in AI? That'll be pretty cool as well.